Hello and welcome to the PPD YouTube channel folks. Clyde Lindsay here from Pixel Pro Displays and we hope that you've had a fantastic week. This whole week it's been, it, it is Friday and it's a Twinkle Tip Friday. Obviously that's why you're here. And I've got a great tip for you on how to get the very best quality out of your house preview video. A couple of things you probably didn't know were in X Lights and how to kind of make it the best that you can make it. Let's get right to it. All right, folks, there is a lot of information in today's video. So before we get started, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the TPD YouTube channel. And as always, hit the bell for notifications so you never miss one of our Twinkle Tip Friday videos or any other video that we put out. So before we get started, this sequence that you see here is a sequence we call something that we call a twinkling traditions sequence and what it is is a static sequence that you can put on your house it has no music it's something that you can allow your uh, synchronized light show just to run some nice pretty static lights on and off during the early part or the late part or maybe even between some songs so that people have a chance to take some pictures or just enjoy what your house looks like it's a it's a nice uh, static way to uh, show off your show without having to have music and we put them in the store now the reason why I'm sharing this specific sequence is because this is a great way to demonstrate to you how to create a house preview video and the question that I received in email was uh, from a club member and they asked about uh, how I could get the very best output of uh, the uh, uh, pixel preview or the house preview because theirs wasn't as nice. So th the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and render this sequence out. This won't take long, so only it's a really short minute and a half long sequence. And basically what you're, what you're going to see is you're going to see the steps or the process, the actual process to doing this. And then I'm going to take you through some of the logic of what's going on in the background, what X Lights is doing, and things that you can do to make it a little bit better. Uh, I have my preview right here. It all looks pretty good. And if we go to File and we do an Export House Preview video, I'm going to put this right in my layout here. I'm just going to save it as the name of the sequence and it's going you see this nice little status bar that tells how long it's going to take it's almost done and poof it's done so now what we can do I'm gonna go open up the uh, folder and here's the folder and if we come down here and we look for our mp4 file you're going to see a video and now if we go ahead open this up and it opened up over here on the screen and remember how small the screen was? It was, all, it, was eh, it was a little box. It was about as big as me, maybe a little bigger, right? And now you can see that you have this house preview video, but it looks really blurry and not very crisp or, or you know, um, as neat or high definition as possible. I mean, look at the little letters in the, PP, uh, the Pixel Pro Display's uh, logo there. They're not, it, it's not as, uh, as defined as it could be. And so one of the things that, uh, that this person was mentioning is he wanted a nicer preview, but the other thing he mentioned was the pixels weren't as bright in his house preview. So the two things that I'm going to show you next have to deal with making, making it look better and uh, how to edit your layout. So let's go in and I'm going to go ahead and close this out. And let's go into the layout tab. So one of the things, one of the things that most people don't know is the default setting for all of the props when you create a new prop in X Lights. If we make an arch really quick and you come down here and you look at something called the appearance, you can see that there is a pixel size here that's set to two. Well, if I take this arch and I put it right beside these arches here and I make it just about the same size, right? We'll go ahead and make it about the same size. And we zoom in. Can you tell? that the pixels on this arch look way different than the pixels on this arch. And the reason for that is because the pixel size. So we use a pixel size of three for pretty much all of the props. There are some props that take a little bit bigger pixel size. And um, I'll show you, let's go ahead and make another copy of this, uh, this arch. If you wanna get better looking, I'm just copying and pasting Control C, Control V. 
if you want to get a better preview of a, a, a lot of the props here, what you can do is you can bulk edit the size of all of your pixels. You can grab and select them just like this on the whole the whole screen. It'll select everything. And you can do a bulk edit on them. And to do that, just select them all, right click, and you can do a bulk edit. And if you do bulk edit, go to pixel size and change it from two up to number three there. Click the OK button and poof, now you have a little bit thicker um, pixels on each of those props. One of the things that I learned earlier this week is that there is another bulk edit function, but it's broken in X lights. So you used, you used to be able to grab, let's say, uh, the floodlights and you used to be able to grab them and hover over top of them over here, right click, and there was a bulk edit for pixel size. So I found that was a bug. If you want to do them in groups, uh, the floodlights, they use a different pixel style. They don't use the same pixel style as the, as the other pixels here. We have smooth pixel style for all of these, but our floodlights, if we go to the floods, those happen to be, um, it, those happen to be a, uh, uh, blended circle so if they were a smooth circle they would look like that but we put blended on there so they appear more like a floodlight and uh, it's just a just a way that we put that in the show years ago and we have kinda just left it alone but I found that that was a bug and so I ended up uh, going into the uh, GitHub in Xlights and I ended up asking uh, or bringing it to their attention uh, that I, and I, I, I put an issue in now they've closed it this is a couple days ago uh, but what I what I ended up doing was uh, showing them the screenshot here of exactly where there was a issue that a, a feature was missing and Scott found it right away and uh, Daryl is working on it that's going to be hopefully something that comes back to us no problem but uh, whenever but it's just a, it, the point is is that I, I want you to be aware that things can happen and if you uh, notice that something breaks in X lights you need to go to the GitHub and you need to put that in GitHub so that you can have things fixed whenever you see an error such as that. But let's go back into the sequencer tab. The second thing that is going to cause you trouble whenever it comes to exporting your house preview video is going to be the physical size of this screen. Now if I come back here and I look at the uh, video preview and if I go into the preferences more like it right click properties or go into the properties we'll say and if we click on the detail tab you're going to see here that the frame width of this house preview the frame frame width I'll, I'll move this out of the way you see the house preview here the frame width of this is 806 by 458 that's the physical dimension size that's this size right here of the uh, of the screen so x lights exported that video now I would say that if I opened this video up and I were to try to uh, resize the screen so that it were about the same size, there we go, as the house preview video was in real life, then it doesn't look so terrible. It actually looks really good at the smaller definition because you're not blowing it up but because you're blowing it up the definition of the video tends to not look as nice and clear so in order to have a full screen video that looks really good this is what you need to do you need to Whenever you are on your one, you have one monitor, imagine you only have one monitor right here. You put this at the bottom of the screen. Now, I know it's behind me and you can't see it. I'm and just... it snaps. See how it snaps to the top there? It tries to maximize it. I'm not telling you to double click on it to make it full size. I'm telling you to drag it out. And there's a very specific reason why. Because you still need to be able to move this screen out of the way to do your house export. So this, after you get this the largest that you can on your screen, now you need to right click, hit the reset button, and then move this, move this down and out of the way. Now you can come down here to file and export house preview video, and then we'll, we'll just save this as two and save. Now you're going to notice you made the screen bigger and the video is going to be much larger file size now it's it's not going to be your standard file size uh, again you, you have to hit render if you don't hit the render button before it's not going to output anything on the video 
And after this finishes up, we'll go ahead and bring up the preview screen. There it's done. And here is the pro layout. Here is the video number one. You can see the file size of that video. It's at 14,000 kilobytes. The, the, the number two version of this is uh, 37,000 kilobytes. If we right click and we look at the properties, now we can see that details, 900, or, I'm sorry, frame width 1898 by 990 pixels. So let's go ahead and play it in its natural state. And you can see here, way more crisp, way more clear, way more precise, not near as blended as the other video was. And this is why it's important. Now, uh, one of the other things too that you might not realize is that if I, if I take this down here uh, and I go back to the house preview video here, you can zoom in on the video in certain parts. Maybe you only want to share a certain part of the video. This is the screen. This this frame, whatever's in this frame is what Xlights is going to export to your house preview video. So if you're looking for a very specific shot, like uh, I used to be very specific about exactly where things aligned in my video. So this is about the way I used to do it. And there's one last thing that I want to share with you guys that uh, is important to know before we wrap everything up. There's one other thing that you may have to do, and it deals with your file settings and your preferences whenever it comes to exporting your house preview video. Let's go in over here to the file menu and we'll go into preferences. One of the last things, one of, probably back in 2022, that there was a, an update or a function that was added into XLights where the export video set, uh, the video export settings had uh, been created. And I'm, I'm not sure who did this or which developer. I think it was Dan. And I think it was due to the change in something that happened in Mac. And uh, Keith had to do some updates for Windows so that this would work. If you export your house preview video and you've already increased the size of your pixels to three, and you've already made your screen as large as possible, but you still don't have the quality of, of, of video output, I, there are a couple settings that you can change here. And I like to use the MPEG4 video codec, and I like to set my bit rate here at 72,000. After I made this change, and I wanna say that I began to notice that there was something different about the video exports, Back in 2022, it was probably February 2022, because I noticed one of the videos just didn't look as crisp and nice as it, it as it had uh, used to. So, if you don't have that good quality and you've made all those other changes, this is the last thing that you want to make sure that you go in, update, and then you'll be able to outport and have some great looking quality videos. And there you have it guys, another Twinkle Tip Friday in the bag for you. I hope this video was helpful, informative, and taught you just a little bit about something in x Lights that maybe you didn't know was there and how it could help you as you move forward. Guys, thank you for joining me. This is Clyde Lindsay signing out from Pixel Pro Displays. If you like the video, please give us a huge thumbs up. If you haven't done yet, so hit the big subscribe button down below and don't forget the bell for notifications so you never miss an awesome video, a Twinkle Tip Friday, a webinar, anything. And don't forget Tuesdays. We ever Every Tuesday we get into our PPD Zoom room. Next week's going to be a webinar. It's going to be an intro to RGB webinar, uh, continuation of our series. And we have an open mic night session afterwards. So if you have questions, if you're trying to learn things, you're, you're welcome to jump into our Zoom room uh, and put your hand up and uh, ask, a, ask away. And there's a wonderful community of people that get along with everybody to share their knowledge and to make you be a little bit more successful with everything you're doing to run your show. And if you appreciate the things that we do here at Pixel Pro Displays, consider joining the PPD Sequence Club where you get one awesome sequence each and every month. We have three different songs. You get to choose one of those three songs each and every month. And a new one's coming out here starting in a couple days. So uh, stay tuned. Guys, it's been great having you. We hope you have a wonderful weekend, and we will see you in the next video. Take care, and goodbye for now.